Lifting up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Homosexual marriage is a oxymoron, emphasize the moron. God does not recognize that as marriage. It is Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, according to the teaching of the scriptures. This is not against homosexuals, but it's against homosexuality, and it is against same-sex marriage. This is a hell-damning perversion. Whether people agree or disagree, it is a hell-damning perversion. No, God does not hate homosexuals, but God does hate homosexuality. I'm not speaking hatred against homosexuals or trying to stir up hatred against homosexuals, but I have a hatred for homosexuality. It is destructive, not only socially, but it's destructive to homosexuals themselves. Now, having said that, it's an invalid relationship and an invalid marriage in the eyes of God anyway. So there is no basis for it to even exist. Heterosexual marriage, however, is different. It depends on the individual circumstances. All things are new to those who are in Christ Jesus. If somebody was divorced and remarried before they got saved, and their previous partner is a non-believer or married to someone else, and they're in this new relationship, married, all things are new. They should pick up where they are see their present wife saved and continue, or husband saved, and continue in that marriage. All things are new. However, if somebody is not remarried after a divorce and the partner from the first marriage is not married, the best thing to do with the help of God is to go back and witness to your former spouse see them get saved, and ask God to put the original marriage back together where that is possible, if there's not been another marriage by either or both parties. It is always better to restore the first marriage based on salvation where possible, and there are cases where God has done that and still does that, praise the Lord. But if you're in a situation where you're already divorced and remarried and you've become a Christian, then all things are new. Pick up where you are. If there's no possibility, if you're already be married, you have children with your new wife or your new husband, pick up where you are. If, however, you were a saved Christian and you got divorced with no biblical reason, in other words, the unbeliever didn't leave you and go off with somebody else, you just got divorced because of incompatibility or whatever and remarried somebody else after you were born again, you are in an adulterous marriage. You need to leave it. You need to leave it. If there's children involved, keep up your relationship with the children, but explain to them honestly when they're old enough to understand it that what's happened to the family is because of your sin. Take responsibility for it. Be a father and an example to your children. But you cannot stay in that adulterous marriage. If you divorced another believer where there were no biblical grounds, in other words, if the unbeliever didn't leave you and go off with somebody or something, you have no biblical right to have remarried. You need to get out of that adulterous marriage. Now, again, this can vary from circumstance to circumstance, situation to situation. I'm simply presenting a doctrinal overview. But same-sex marriage in the eyes of God is not marriage to begin with. Homosexual relationships must end. I would point you to an organization called Life, Living in Freedom Eternally, a wonderful ministry of former homosexuals and lesbians who the Lord has delivered from that perversion, much the same as he delivered me from, my, from the drug addiction of my youth. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless.